for today's EFL Day of Action, we've got some participants from some of our programmes uh, across the county. Uh, they're coming into Bradbury End, the training ground, to meet the first team players, tell them a bit, little bit about their experiences that they've had on our programmes. We've got participants from NCS, uh, Girls Development Centre, our Move and Learn programme in primary schools, walking footballers and our Get Set to Go mental health programme. Very excited as they're my local team. Um, nervously excited, obviously. Um, yeah, I can't wait to get going. I mean, I've been taking part in the walking football programme, and this is a very, very nice, privileged treat to be here. Get set to go has benefited me massively. Um, before I would go out, wouldn't leave the flat, I wouldn't socialise shut down uh, but doing this program has been extremely beneficial and I highly recommend it. So I did NCS with um, Stevenage but I did the Welling program. Um, I found so many new friends, I overcame so many new fears that I didn't even discover that I had. Um, I went to school previously and both friendship groups from my old school and my new school joined so I watched them make friends with each other and now we're all such good friends and I think overcoming my fears was a massive part of NCS for me. Years ago, you've got that time to come to the It's actually quite a strange But we play competitively but fairly and with a sense of humour so it's enormously beneficial in that respect. Uh, in terms of health, uh, physically it's very, very good for you as well. So both physically and socially, it's a, it's a very worthwhile pursuit. And I just absolutely love it. It reminds me really of, more than anything else, of playing football in the playground or dropping a couple of jackets on the grass and playing when you were kids, you know. And uh, it's great, it's great. And to be able to play at my age is something that I never expected to be able to do. And it's enormously enjoyable. And uh, I just hope I can keep playing it for as long as possible. I think I'm going to make my first appearance uh, in April in an international against Wales, so I'm, I'm really looking forward to that. But there are four other guys as well, and we've got two representatives in the over 75s team, can you imagine? So, I mean, there's still guys who are playing over 75, and one of the guys from our session that was in the video that we watched is, is actually 83, Tony. So it goes on for a long time, or it has potential to go on for a long time, yeah. So I'm looking forward to that. And, that would be a great honour for me, really. I think I can retire gracefully after that. Children in school and with the Move and Learn and some other programmes that these guys run, we're going to have 490 children being able to access something over the course of a year. It's good for them to know that actually, just purely by having the, like you say, the badge, the logo come into school and the name Stevenage Football Club, then the children's engagement rises incredibly I wish that we had that impact as teachers because obviously I could stand there and teach to them all day and hopefully they enjoy it however as soon as somebody with a Stevenage tracksuit comes in it's that increased motivation and engagement level and that's great and it's it's also really good because it's building the community and I think that's really important for them to recognize and it's good for the first team like you say to recognize that they're having that impact even though they're not the ones delivering it it's their community He's building the others. So. Yeah, it's great. I think as a as one of the players in the club, you kind of you're in a privileged position. And uh, well, sometimes the work that other people do in the background kind of goes kind of goes unlooked. You know, you're focused day to day on training and, and playing, and you forget that the, the amazing work that people do do in the background. So it's nice to have days like this where you can come in, you can hear people's stories, people from all different walks of life, people that have experienced different situations to yourself, and, and it's nice. It's nice to meet them. Nice to get for them. To, an opportunity to come up and, and see what we do as well and it's, it's beneficial for everyone. Oh, it's been amazing. It's so good to see participants sharing their stories, hearing from staff about the work that they're doing and giving staff a platform to talk about the work they do. You know, this is their career, their lives, um, they invest so much time 
that can sometimes go unrecognised. So it's really good to see them given that opportunity. Uh, players were so engaged, so interested in, in what the people had to say. And um, yeah, you go away from today with a, a real buzz knowing that you're making an impact in the community.